In this video I'm going to show you how to install the own cloud client and we're going to be using the desktop client so if you just go to owncloud.org slash install you can click on the Windows client. We're installing this one on a Windows 8 computer. The website's going to ask you if you want to save the file. Click run. You're prompted to click yes on the installer. Click next. We're going to choose the standard installation. Click next and finish. The program will launch and it will ask for the server address. This is where you put your server address. In the earlier videos you would put the IP address and port 443. We're setting this up for production use so here's our address. As you can see we're using HTTPS, the host name, and then the port number click next. You'll log in using the username and password that you created. Click next. It'll ask you where you want to save the local folder. Finally click connect and then finish. If you right click in the task tray you'll be able to pull up the settings and it indicates that it's syncing all files in your account with this folder. It also shows you the available storage space. Under network you can limit the download and upload speeds. If you're using a proxy server you can specify it here. You can tell it to launch on startup so you can make sure your files are synced. Under activity it shows you recent activity that's happened on your account and currently it's downloading videos that are stored in my folder. If we open up the files directory you can notice that it's created a favorite folder for own cloud and you'll see all your directories. For example we have this music file. I'm going to delete it. Under photos you can see photos that have synced so far and under videos you can see the videos that have synced. This will turn green after all the files have synced in your folder. I'm going to log into my account so we can see that the music video or sorry music file was deleted. And if we click on music, the file still shows as being active. As soon as the sync finishes and we hit refresh on this web page, it will disappear. Let's go ahead and check the status of the sync. Okay, so as we can tell, we're on file 152 of 166. It shows the total size. Alright, so the sync is almost finished. 195 of 195. All files are in sync. So now if we refresh, this file should be gone. And as you can see, the file is gone. Nothing is here. Upload something. So let's try to upload a file. I'm just going to choose the shortcut file. Okay, and the shortcut file just uploaded. So here within a couple of seconds we'll see the file appear in our local directory. The file's now shown up. 
So as you can tell, this product is very similar to Dropbox, except it's free and everything is under your control. You control the storage, who has access, what they have access to. Uh, looks like a pretty good product.